Okay, welcome, part, welcome back to part two of my how to cook spaghetti. Okay, so now, like I said, here's, the, here's one of my favorite pasta noodles. It's the tricolor rotini, and it's the rainbow one, okay? I like the color of it, and I like how it tastes. It looks well. I'm going to put two boxes of it. One box is about 12 ounces, so I'm going to put that in here. Bring it to a boil first, then put your pasta in, okay? Because you don't want it to get too soft or too soggy, and it's going to lose its color if you let it soak in too long. So let it boil first. Let it boil first, then put it in, and then, then you time it for 10 minutes. And make sure you take it out. You overcook it, it's going to get overly soft and mushy, and it's not going to taste as good. You still want it to be kind of chewy. That's the best part. So I'm going to put two boxes. This is a three-quart um, saucepan. Okay, three-quart pan. And I put the water up to three-fourths high, and then I put two boxes of the 12 ounce each of pasta. And you can just stir it around a bit to break it up. I like this a lot better than um, spaghetti, spaghetti long spaghetti noodles because the spaghetti noodles, they kind of clump together when they boil, you know? But this works better. They don't really clump and stick like the spaghetti long noodles or the other type of long noodles. These don't really stick at all, which is great. But after you boil it, do rinse it a bit to break it up, you know, so it doesn't stick as it cools down. But when you boil it, these don't stick like the long spaghetti noodles. So I'm going to cover it. Then I'm going to time it for 10 minutes right away. And don't boil it any longer than that. Even if it's not boiling right now, because I had just put in the pasta noodles. But time it for 10 minutes, it'll be perfect, believe me. Any more than that, it's going to start getting... It's going to start losing its color, and it's going to start getting too soft and mushy. And it's going to lose the chewiness. So here we have... Now, while well, that's going to be time for 10... Ken, no. Baby Ken's trying to mess... Ken! Baby Ken's trying to mess with my tripod here. So here's the... Lean ground turkey. And I don't even have to pour out the juices because it had evaporated pretty good. But lean ground beef, oh my goodness, that has a lot of juice and a lot of fat, and you have to pour it out. But for the lean ground turkey, it works perfect. I don't even have to pour it out. Okay, so now it's completely cooked. I'm going to go ahead and add in my yummy brown sauce. Like I, like I said, it has oyster sauce, soy sauce, teriyaki sauce. It's got brown sugar, honey fresh chopped lemongrass and fresh chopped um, ginger and garlic and whatever goody stuff you want to put in there, your secret stuff, go put it in there. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and put about probably 8 tablespoons. One. This is the way how I like to make mine, so be creative and do whatever you feel that you like best for your food. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, um, when you first start cooking the lean ground turkey, put it on high first and put a little bit of nonstick spray just to get a nice um, smooth coating so it doesn't stick onto your pan. And I don't use oil, so nonstick spray works perfect for me. So as you can see, this is starting to boil here, so now I'm going to turn down the heat to low. Okay, it was on high first, but when it comes back to a boiling again, so now I have like seven minutes left. When it comes to a boiling, so it doesn't overflow, just turn it down to low. Okay, and don't let it overflow, of course. I'm going to turn it down more. Okay, so now I'm back to stirring this. So once you get a nice stir to it, usually I let it um, cook for another 10, 15 minutes to get it more browned, you know? But since I'm doing a tutorial, I'm just going to go ahead and just skip the 10, 15 minutes of letting it brown more. I'm going to go ahead and show you as I start putting the sauce in. And then the oregano seasoning, Italian seasoning, So here is my, here I have it, my four bottles of spaghetti sauce. 
24 ounce each glass bottle. Use any spaghetti sauce that you desire. Okay, here we go. So right now it's on medium high right now. If it starts to bubble, the spaghetti sauce where it'll bubble up Ken. Sorry, baby Ken's messing with my tripod. All right, just get four bottles in there. So, if you're case if you're wondering, this is the green pepper, this is the green pepper and mushroom sauce, and this is the tomato and basil. They come in a variety of different flavors, so pick whatever you like. I usually like, like to mix mine. There's a second bottle. I'll zoom in. Here. Turn it down. Third bottle. Also, in each bottle, it's going to have a lot of excess sauce that you can get, still get a lot of. Add about half a cup of water and then cap and then shake it around and pour into the next bottle. You'll get a lot of sauce back out because right now it's all kind of wasted, stuck inside. So go ahead and add half a cup of water and then shake it around and then pour into the next bottle, okay? So you don't waste all that extra sauce. It's actually a decent amount of sauce still in there. So go ahead and stir it. Don't touch, Ken. So go ahead and um, stir that around. It's on medium high right now, so when it starts to pop up and boil um, and pop everywhere, make sure you start like turning it down lower. Ken, stop it. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put my. I'm going to put three tablespoons of sugar and this three tablespoon of sugar works well with my ingredient portion. The four bottles of spaghetti sauce and the three packs of lean ground turkey. So the setting is still on medium high right now. When I simmer cook it, I'm going to turn it down. When it, when it starts boiling more, a bit, popping, I'm going to turn it down, okay? And simmer cook it for another, like, 30 minutes. And stir once in a while to make sure the bottom doesn't burn because you don't want to have it on too high because the bottom will burn the meat. Okay. Some people, some people are very strict on measurements. I am not strict on measurements because... You know, be creative, be on, you know, if you are so dependent on measurement, then that's up to you, but that's too much work. I'd rather just go based on experience and how I like it. After a while, you get used to it. So I'm going to put some oregano seasoning to give that nice spaghetti flavor. Okay, now it's starting to pop right now, so I'm going to turn it down. So we got our three tablespoons of sugar, oregano seasoning, Italian seasoning. Now I'm going to turn it back up as I stir. I'm turning it back up to medium high right now. Soon after just stirring it, mixing it. I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and put in my sliced mushrooms and chopped 
onion bulbs, okay? I usually like to use the yellow um, or brown Spanish onions, those are good. So here we go. So this is the entire um, sliced um, mushroom that I showed you, eight ounce chopped. So throw that in there. One of the eight ounce container of mushroom is good enough because when you cut it, they kind of poof up, you know? So now it's starting to boil, so I gotta turn it back down. Kyo. So I'm stirring it right now. I'm gonna put it back up to medium. Because once you stir it, it doesn't pop as easily. So I can turn it back up now, the heat. Because spaghetti sauce is very thick, it pops and it just flies everywhere. Okay, now here is my two bulbs of onions. I'm gonna throw that in there as well. The sauce is, is gonna be very thick, okay, but it'll eventually water down a bit with the veggies in there. I kind of, um, I don't really like to use bell peppers, red and green bell peppers, unless if you know for sure that you're gonna eat it right away. But if you want to put the bell peppers by portion as you eat, then that's better because when you cook it into here, bell peppers perish very quickly and it starts tasting kind of spoiled. So I'm going to cover that up, and that is it for now. Okay, now my timer just went off, now it's on zero. My timer's off, I'm going to turn off the heat now. This is done now. And don't let it sit in there too long because it's going to start getting overcooked. And I'm going to go ahead and, you know, drain out the water. Okay, to be continued.